course, Dre's making that weird face, but we're here for another episode of the Opinion Podcast, Opinionated Podcast. Today, the Opinionated Podcast is presenting the Flat Earth Theory. <laughs> that was a weird uh, face. I know. These niggas hate the that was a weird-ass face. That was a smile. That was literally, that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, like the movie smile, nigga. But Creepy. That's it. But I mean, it's my face, but, but all right. What's crazy is like about this whole flat earth theory is that the earth was considered still flat. A lot of people think you can sell off the edge of the ocean between like 1870 to 1920. Somehow that all fucking changes. It's because they had the wrong religion. Perception. All religions um, was based around the Egyptian religion. Norse, uh, uh, was it was the Vikings believed that the earth was flat. Uh, Egyptians believed the earth was flat. Um, a bunch of different religions at the time always believed that we were at the center of the universe and it was flat. And then somehow this shit became round. Somebody discovered that the fucking planet is round. The Greeks discovered it back in their, see, between 600 BC or something like that. They discovered that it was actually round. But they, you know, the rest of the world didn't catch up. So now, more recently, now with TikTok and everything available, everybody is going back to this whole flat Earth theory. Well, I'm not gonna lie. What do you believe? Every time when I used to, see, when I used to see it at the beginning. Well, before like, we get into that, why don't you describe crazy. what the flat Earth theory is? How about we? Basically, the flat Earth theory is that our planet is on this is is flat, surrounded. The water that we got on our planet is surrounded by a giant ice wall. Uh, the star, the sun, and the moon is fixated in the firmament. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. Firmament Even the stars is fixated in it, and 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 that rotates around us. Yeah, we so don't rotate around the sun. We're not yeah. hurling through space at a million miles an hour. We're fucking just dead smack in the center of the fucking universe. We're the only thing that exists. Space yeah. doesn't exist. None of that exists, just us. Yeah. So basically, we're on a kind of weird flat plane. Uh, the the sun and the moon are on opposite sides, well, and they revolve around this flat paint plane in different cycles, cl- closer or further, okay. depending on the season. Well, and it's not a s- spherical planet. I, I can give you Wikipedia's definition because I think we might be right. like we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of stuff got meshed. Conflating, yeah, yeah, we might be conflating multiple yeah, things. So let me let me tell you what uh, Flat Earth on Wikipedia says. It says Flat Earth is an archaic and scientifically disproven misconception of the Earth's shape as a plane or a disc. Um, many ancient cultures subscribe to a flat Earth cosmography, notably including ancient Near Eastern cosmology. Um, the model has undergone a recent resurgence as a conspiracy theory. Um, they make sure to pretty much tell you that, you know, it's already been disproven. It's already been disproven. So well, let's get into it. What, I can keep going, but let's get into it. But, no, let's get into it. I, listen, I'm not going to lie. Motherfuckers used to come up to me and say, oh, the earth is flat. Cause you got to check this out. I'm like, they was coming up to you and telling you that. Yeah, they right. would just come up to me. You know, your your house. mom, you know, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, yo, you gotta check this video out. Yo, the earth is really flat. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like some of this stuff, y'all come up to me with conspiracy theories. I kind of believe, but this one is like, yo, it's proven that we're fucking round. Like you can see. Well, how is it proven? I'm just saying you can see it from space and NASA and all this shit. Like it's round and, and and I've been on planes and I've been on boats and I've seen leaving from like from like on a boat leaving from an island like you can see like the island start like going down over the horizon as you further go out. You can. And I'm saying well, if, if the earth is fucking flat I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This island is here. I should fucking be able to see this fucking island all the way till I get back until it fucking it, it disappears from my view and I can't really make out what it is on the horizon, but you can see it like, like slowly go down, 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 down to disappears. Well, that's oh not necessarily God. true because if you look down, a, if you're standing on a, a long street, 
and you say the street is five miles long, you can't necessarily see all the way down the street, but you know that it's it's a straight path. Well, it depends well, on how I, tall the buildings are, also, because as you get further yeah, away, yeah, but in the distance, like it's like seeing sky, skyscrapers, like you can see a yeah. sky. I could be in North Philly and see Center City skyline. You know what I'm saying? Because the buildings are high. Yeah, I'm about exactly. to say the buildings are going up. Not, you know what well, I mean? Well, th- that's the thing. Even, when I- even playing field, if you're on level playing field, it's like looking at a boat. You say, they say when you watch a boat in water, as the further it goes, you'll see it go over the horizon at the bottom of the boat first, right? Mm. So if you're looking, say you're looking just down the street, that's not necessarily the, the, the same you don't necessarily get the same effect, right? Well, the reason why I didn't believe the shit, because I'm like, yo, anything with a curve, if it's a curve or a ball, the further you start to walk off the curve, the less you, you know, you'll slowly, gradually disappear. You you know, like, say if I'm walking down the curved street, first you might see my, you know, my calves, then my, th- my thighs and my torso. Then you eventually just see the top of my head. Now. <laughs> yeah, I'm ex- I'm breaking it down. You gotta understand, people was fucking listening. It was to weird. Shit. <laughs> it was weird how I broke it down. But but that's that's not my kneecaps. You know. But but listen, that's how I that's how I seen. You see my hip ball joints. So that's how I seen it on the boat. I would like see the fucking islands like get not shrink like it's like it's getting further away from me because that's what you're talking about, Kev. I would see it actually like start to like go down, like it's going down into the ocean. So I'm like, all right, the earth is curved. I'm like, I don't, this whole flat earth thing is like, is fucking debunked. And then I start fucking going down the fucking rabbit hole with these videos. And mm-hmm. they make some going down the rabbit hole with these videos. It's like, oh man, like, like some of this shit is making sense. They like, make some, they make some compelling some arguments. points. Let's, yes. How about we get into some of these arguments? We'll, we'll okay, here, here, here's one argument. Is a video I seen. They was talking about from flying from like uh, flying from like Jersey to Los Angeles or some shit or or another island. Mm-hmm. It was like you would fucking fly here on a round Earth model. You'll fly to one place, then go to another place that's up here higher, and then come back down to the other point. So you look at that and around Earth, you're like, why the fuck wouldn't that just, it looks further, it looks faster just to go this way. But on a flat Earth model, it was pretty much just a straight line. It's like a straight line, like you stopped here and then you stop there. It made sense. It's like, oh shit, like, why would I stop here? To, why would I go up here to come back down here? But on a flat I, Earth thing, it was like a straight shot. So let's talk about... I would only want to hear that from a pilot, though. I don't want to hear that. Like, a lot of shit that I'm gonna find a lot video. of people, a lot of people online be saying, it's like you can say, y'all talk to a pilot. No, no, I want to hear it from the pilot, nigga. What do you do when you fucking turn in that plane? And bring <laughs> the it fact back? of you turning a plane like it's got yeah. a big ass or like this truck well, steering wheel. What are you doing <laughs> when you turn that plane? Are you flying oh, straight oh. or are you not? Because if they're flying straight, boom, everything's proven. If they turn. Then seems like the nigga who don't fly a plane that told us that needs to go sit the fuck down somewhere. Well, what about oh. the other? Uh, well, here it is. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull time. a video. I'll let it play in the background for you, and you can see it for yourself what he's talking about. So, basically, there's no sound to the video. I am not fucking. I don't want to hear nobody else talking. It's a diagram. But this is him breaking down. You know flight patterns right here like if you see him breaking down a flight pattern it's, it's it gets crazy explain it like you see how he's going up to that's the flat earth that's the flat earth right there so from los angeles you got to make an emergency stop you will land if you're on the round earth you're saying you'll land in alaska watch this boom 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 see how it's a straight line Okay. From New York to Hawaii. They had to land in Seattle. Yeah, they Seattle. said they landed in Seattle, which is out way out the fucking way on the on the round earth. But on a flat plane, it makes sense. But but on you think flat, about flying from New York to Se- Seattle, plane. you will fucking go up to Seattle. You will fly around or if you'll go up to Seattle, then come back down home to Hawaii. 
Mm. I mean, I can add sound so you can fucking hear. Yeah, it, I'd rather you add the sound. It's crazy how you know, add yeah, yeah, the sound. Okay. I'm going to add the sound. Boom. See where he went? See, right about here. <laughs> well, where would you land? Well, you could go to Hawaii. You might as well go to Los Angeles. Instead, they went all the way to Alaska. <laughs> okay. Flat Earth. Right? Flat Earth. Taiwan, Alaska, Los Angeles. Ooh. Okay. So here's an emergency. They were going from New York to Hawaii, right about here, and they said we have to land. So they went to Seattle, which is like a thousand miles out of the way. They got there in record time. New York, Seattle, Hawaii. Prove that that the Earth is not a ball. This is the World Cup soccer. Oh, okay. They were in Doha. They wanted to go back to Buenos Aires. They went to Rome to refuel, and yeah. then they went back there. Why yeah, didn't they yeah. just go here? Because if they did, there's no place to refuel out here. On a flat Earth, Doha, Rome, Buenos Aires, <laughs> Taiwan to Los Angeles. They had an emergency yeah. right about. Here. Okay. You all right. First of all, hey. first of all, his hype man deserves an award. That nigga said, "I'm gonna prove to you the Earth is flat, not, uh, flat and not a ball," because Seattle is way over here. Oh, <laughs> that nigga was like, he was, <laughs> like he was in a battle, <laughs> like he was battling around Earth, nigga. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that is but, interesting, but, though. But you I mean, see, it makes it makes, but you it see makes the, a lot of sense when you when you if the Earth was curved and then you flatten it out. And they in a straight line. That I mean, that does make sense. Well, and here's another thing: this information though. from as far as what's what's where on a flat Earth. I don't know where he's getting this information well, from. I don't know. But have you ever been on a flight and you like, man, I should be able to see. Like it should curve the fuck off after a while. I should be able to fucking see the curve and curve in the fucking like space or something. Like the um, rising up there is like completely fuck. I mean, is ungodly flat when you get up there you look outside of a plane window it'll, it'll, you don't see really curve it shit just looks ungodly flat so like you can see straight we, we, won't, this we, gonna get, we gonna get very deep into this shit and I think it's gonna be very interesting when we do but I do think it's all about perspective because you, you're gonna notice as I start to talk about this it's a lot of it takes me a while to really start to start to drink the Kool-Aid a little bit Cause like a lot, like to me that, like when I look at that guy, explain that, I'm like, all right, fine. Where do you get your science from? Like, where do you get the distance and and where everything is placed on the flat earth? Like, is it a special map? What map is it? Why is that map valid? And why is the other map not valid? Like, I need to know where he's getting his information from in order for me to say, yo, he right. The flight patterns do match. If it was a flat earth, I don't know that. I have no idea. Well, I think they have a flat earth map that, is actually used, uh, you know, through governments and shit like that, like a, a like a, a an actual real map, not just like some bullshit. They got maps that actually have what the Earth would be like if it was just flat. So, say you're looking at an Earth on the globe, it, it might, it might, if you flatten it out, it might come out the way you need it to be. Might. I know they got two different. Might I, listen. I don't know if none of this shit is real. You know what I mean? Who knows? It could be flat. It could be round. I've never been to space to tell you. Uh, well, definitely a cube. I, yeah, this is the definitely problem. A cube. <laughs> definitely mm-hmm. a usually, cube. Definitely. <laughs> usually, usually when the girl government, the world government has something to hide, they fucking try to change it up in the textbooks. Like, what is the purpose of going from a round Earth to you know, going from a flat Earth to a round Earth? Like, I don't because see any advantages be, for the government to say spinning thousands of miles per hour in space if we were flat yeah you know I mean? unless we were a frisbee <laughs> you know what i mean hey 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 let me let me give you let me give you another possibility if they told you that every land on every land on earth has been discovered would you want to go explore i want to no, go explore now go explore. but for the masses yeah you want to but are you about to no, you, if, if, if so, y'all all find, so y'all can go find Kevinsburg or some shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, that's what niggas used to do. They used to go exploring, find the land or take a land and, and call it somebody else's shit. But telling you that, hey, we only on the globe. It's, it's a finite amount of space and everything's been discovered. Everything's good. There are no lands that nobody, you know, has found it. 
Like there are no extra lanes. Like I feel like that's one of the things that could maybe cause them to to lie. One, but there's many so, more. So, so saying there's more land. Say okay, that's one. We ain't get there yet. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we well, ain't gonna get there yet. But okay, we just gonna <laughs> back off. Well, look, we'll, yeah, we'll go back. Let's let's stick on the conspiracy and, and, part. Yeah. Of it. So, so we'll we'll stick on the air. We're still on the airplane and flying in the air. So I seen somebody. Or I guess uh, I don't know if it's a new thing, but it is a thing that people do. They bring a leveler with them on the plane to see because technically, if you're on a plane and the earth what? is really? occurred, yeah, yeah, no, no bullshit. These yeah. are the type of tests people are doing, and and you're on a plane. If the plane is following the curvature of Earth, then it would have to the nose would have to go down at some point mm -hmm. to follow the yeah. curve, correct? So yeah, they bring fly, a leveler. They'll fly off. They feel a leveler to see if the leveler will change depending on how the plane moves, and they feel as though they de they they debunk a spherical Earth, nah. because it stays in the middle. All right. Nah, dumb yeah, niggas gotta stay home, bro. <laughs> they, 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 all right. You yeah. gotta let them dumb niggas not do shit no more. Yo. That's it. But this is what they're doing, bro. But think, Dude, think they're about, bringing a leveler. They're pulling out their, you know, the little tray you got to sit your laptop and your food and shit all, and they sit a leveler there and they just wait and watch to see if it curves so, down. There's so many variables. <laughs> like, think of what? So many variables that come but, with that. That's like, wait, that's not science, bro. It's <laughs> not because even if, like, I like, I still believe in kind of around Earth. How, think about how much ground you got to fucking co cover mm -hmm. for you to actually start encountering the curve. Motherfuckers act like our plane is so fucking big on this planet that eventually it's like, yo, it's got to tilt down. It's like, yo, if you were shrunk down to be put on the fucking ball, it'll look flat too in your eyes because that's all you can see. You know what I'm saying? You can't actually see the fucking curve. The perception. Now, we you some fucking humongous giant, this fucking plane was a quarter of the earth, a quarter of the planet big, then it would have to tilt for every time it goes over another quarter of the planet. It would That would make sense, right? Say if your plane was a quarter of the earth. After you go over one quarter, you would still, you would have to tilt down for each quarter, each quad you go through. Whereas as small as we are, it's like, you're not really making a fucking dent. You can keep flying that bitch straight and you'll still be on your curve. Yeah, I, here's the thing they don't check for it. Check your altitude. Is the altitude going up or is it going down in the altitude? You get what I'm saying? Because if you're fucking going straight on the fucking curve, your altitude, your altitude would change. You get what I'm saying? Because that curve is that curve is, you know, is going up a little bit. It might change by like a point point zero zero one or some shit, depending on how far you're going. Like people don't think about that shit right there. The size of the planet. They don't fucking grasp that. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, that shit. <laughs> we gotta do. We go. We gonna have to do better with our with our with our experiments. But I do feel like the deeper you get into this shit, the more you do start to kind of say, mm, "Fuck, they got a well, point." <laughs> what was you about to say? Uh, okay, let's, let's let's back it up a little bit because we started off talking about talking religion. And a lot of people think religion is just some shit, some somebody just fucking made up and shit, and then and it doesn't hold no fucking value to it or whatever like that. And in our Christian religion, this is this is what the map right here will look like for us right here. It it will be flat. This is how they explained it. It's in a bowl protected by four guardians. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That look like a bunt cake dish. It is. But, but, That's where they got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> even, even even are you trying to make an earth cake? <laughs> but, yeah, cake. Even, even, in, even in this model of how they thought the earth would be, it's still a, it's still a slight curve to this shit, as you can see in the middle. It right. still has a curve, but it sits down almost in a bowl. And it, you see the ice wall around it. But I don't think the, the ice wall... I, you know, they keep saying the ice wall is Antarctica, which people 
people uh, get we'll that get into shit that wrong. another time because oh no, is that but I'll get into that. But people get that th- that thing about Antarctica I'm wrong about Antarctica the treaty not even existing. They said it don't exist. I mean, it's I'll get into that another time. Yeah, that's sh- that that might be but, part of the the land around the firmament topic. That's where that's where we're going here, buddy. Yeah, that's where we're going here with this with this, with this with this with with this religion. Why change that shit? Like, what are these four? What are these four guardians protecting in this bowl? You get what I'm saying? That we outside live in. That is, this bowl. is the space. The space that we they, occupy. This, this is the space that we occupy. The they're protecting. Mm. Like, what are they? Are they they're, protecting they're us? Waiting. They're watching. They're watching the gates. They're protecting whatever's opposite side of them. So they're looking in, making. Sh- they're like they're not protecting. They could be defending. Hmm. Mm. So, so imagine, <clears throat> um, imagine, imagine this right here, because right here, because everybody, the aliens and everything like this and everything's. Flying in and out of these fucking ports and everything like that. Imagine that these guardians is like, "Hey, man, we only letting you fuck with, through, yeah, uh, who we fuck with through this gate. This is the only thing that can come in and out of this gate. This is our domain. We protect it. We oversee it. You know, we don't we don't want it fucking invaded. Are they protecting it from an outside enemy? Can it be an outside enemy that's so fucking scary?" That can fucking wipe us out. We don't even fucking know about it. Because you already see the spaceships coming in and we don't have a fucking answer for any of these shits that's coming in and out. And it's not like they always... And how they explain it, they don't always just... They fly out the space, but they're mainly always in the water. And what's crazy is like our space station that's in space never catches these fucking things leaving in and out of our atmosphere. They mainly catch... But they mainly catch these fucking things... Coming in and out of the ocean, they they're always in and out of the ocean, and the things they always going to check up on is our nuclear, like our like our where they're testing like nuclear bombs at anything that can destroy the planet. They're always hovering over it. So what I'm thinking is like, yo, the four guys at the gates, like, hey, look, you guys is a little bit smarter than us. These fucking dumb apes that we got here in the middle is going to probably blow up. <laughs> Their cells and and affect and it will and it will affect y'all too. So let's try to slow these guys down before they fucking blow themselves up and fucking start affecting our atmosphere or or where we where we uh, reside. That you think that? Um, no. <laughs> you don't think that sounds. You don't think the aliens like the is the actually pilot. like, hey man, that they just coming like from what the pilot said. Uh. I don't know. I can't remember. Admiral Richard Bird. Admiral yeah. Richard Bird. There you go. He he wrote that. They said that's what he put in his diary. That uh, when he flew towards the North Pole, <clears throat> it was icy on top, and there was a um, like a hole in the mountain that he was able to fly in, and it turned to lush greenery. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was guided in. His plane was taken control of. He was guided in to, uh, you know, wherever this new land was. And he spoke to another. The king of the whites. Uh, yeah. The king. <laughs> That's what he was called? No. He was, he was, he, he, but another species, we'll say. He was and the they, king of the whites. Yeah, and they, uh, they explained to him that they were worried about what um, the other side of the planet was doing with, this was just after, what was that, World War II? Or World War I, uh, mm-hmm. when they dropped the bombs of Hiroshima, two. Nagasaki, two. Well, that's two, mm-hmm. um, yeah. that they were destroying the Earth and that they had to share this planet. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they said planet, and that's the thing. Probably said plane. All right, land. Let's let's get into the nitty gritty of this shit, okay? A little early, but I think it's gonna help explain why we think the way we think. The many lands theory 
kind of goes hand in hand and we can go in detail in another podcast. Um, that's going to require some real research, but the more they talk about the many lands, like theory, the more this shit makes sense. The more that the, the more the flat earth thing makes sense to me, that's what starts to make sense to me. Because then you take into account the alien shit. And we said it, I think we might've said it last episode, or maybe I was just talking to you, Kev. Yeah. When they, since they already said, oh, no, no, hey, y'all. No, there is aliens. We definitely got them. They over here. Since they, <laughs> since they said it. See, exactly. Um, so we know it's true. Yeah. To me, I look at, okay, there will be a place where you see them into the <laughs> atmosphere just like anything else, right? Where you see them into the atmosphere. There will be sightings. There will be a lot of shit that will happen. Kev said you see them in the water, right? Uh, and then you said that when Admiral Richard Byrd flew over the um, over the North Pole and, and he went into like a, a, a valley or something like that, to me, that makes me think that there's entry points into this land, into every land that only certain beings can access. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to me, that, that starts to make a fucking fuck ton of sense. Well, what's the name was just on, I always shout this out. Uh, on Joe Rogan's podcast, um, Luis, or they call him Lou. El, I don't want to mess this. I'm a fucking butcher his name, his last name, El Zondo or whatever like that. But he does he does research for the U.S. government. He has high security access. Investigating, not they don't call them UFOs no more. They call them UAPs. Coming in what, and out of what does that fucking, stand for? Um, un, unidentified flying UAPs. Uh, yeah, I think a, a nom, no, no, no. We definitely got, we got Google. Hold on, we got Google. Yeah, yeah. I got Google. U, UAP, what's the definition? <laughs> UAP, urinary uh, air projectile, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Phenomenal. That's what it's called. Yeah. Because it used to be unidentified flying object. object. And they were saying, they kept saying because they thought it was coming out of the sky mm -hmm. and landing and coming out of the skies. That's why they called the UFOs. But these things are being more and more seen in the water. Mm -hmm. Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated so, Podcast. He said there's a... Uh, is a military bill he was allowed to talk to. This he had to get briefing from the Pentagon to talk about half of the shit that he could talk about. Mm -hmm. He was brief before he went on the podcast. This is stuff you can't talk about. This is stuff you can't talk about. He said there's a doc. He said there's a video out there of them flying something going through the water, the size of a fucking small island. <clears throat> Thanos ship in the water. In the water. In the water, he said. They said they were seen it. It was caught on cam. It was caught on video and everything. Uh, a guy in the military spotted. It, noticed. It. He said it was. He said he was. He said he almost shit himself. He said this thing was the size of a fucking small island in the water. These things is always flying over military bases. Every time we fucking conduct an experiment, they're not engaging us, but they're just you know they're always like flying close. See, showing them, hey, our capability far exceeds y'all. What I'm thinking was happening, is, bro, is like, I think the government somewhere high in the government, they know they know that it is probably an ice wall, and that there's entryways to other planets. Okay. And the reason they probably keeping the shit under wrap is because what would we do? We what would any greedy motherfucker do <laughs> when they, if they found out it was a a place to go somewhere else with different resources? That's, that's, We've been doing it since the beginning of the time. Let's go fucking invade. 
Right. And Assuming that we're the stronger species, but I don't and, think so. And, and, and that's what they yeah. that's what they're gonna that's what they we're gonna think is humans, we're fucking arrogant. Oh, look, there's more land, let's go fucking invade. Yo, not you, knowing that the government knows that this shit on this other side of this fucking wall. Nah. It's like going to a fucking rock fight with a fucking nuke on the other side. We got you, the rock, they got the fucking nuke. You think that until you roll up on one of them, the alien niggas, and you start talking to him, but your mouth don't move, and he only ain't got a mouth, and you like, wait, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas talking to you like the. Mm-hmm. I, I think the I think the reason reason the government's you not like a full fucking conversation, bro. We are ill equipped. Them niggas, yeah. you said them niggas got Thanos ship riding through the fucking ocean. You know how? First of all, you know how fast you gotta go. You know how like a submarine can go fast in the ocean or fish. Yeah. These niggas got ships the size of islands that can go through the ocean like it ain't shit. We are yeah. ill equipped, my friend. Reason through they said it was moving so fucking for it to be that big, it was moving so fucking fast. It was moving. They said the same thing about Shaq. Yeah, look what that but, I'm, but I'm saying I think the government knows that the, maybe that's why they come up with this round earth and let's go explore, let's go explore the, the stars. Let's not go, let's not go this whole flat earth theory. Y'all don't want to do that shit because if you tell a bunch of greedy motherfuckers, if you Imagine if Donald Trump dumbass knew it was a fucking he becomes president. He knows it's a fucking it's an ice wall. Let's oh let's go explore. We can fucking let's make America great. Let's go expand and show them the American way. You will go over there and show them, try to attempt to show these niggas the American way. Yo, go on to show aliens. (laughs) Exactly. These motherfuckers on the other side of that wall that have been living in peace is gonna say, you know what? We let these dumb motherfuckers rule long enough. Let's control these bastards too. Like going to, going I'm pretty much they like yeah, we're scared oh with what is really the fuck over there. <laughs> and I really think these UFOs coming in and out is just shit from other lands keeping an right. eye on us on the flat earth and making sure we don't fucking blow a fucking hole but, in the middle of the fucking plane. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Yeah. So each president <laughs> this nigga stand. <laughs> Show them the American way. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, no, no. I don't want to go back. Listen, every president is briefed with all the secrets. All the secrets. This is known. This is a known fact. There is secrets that all presidents are briefed with. Right? What secrets do y'all think those are? Now, just hang that right there. For me to for me to say. Because everybody assumes it's aliens since before they made it all, you know, whatever. But wouldn't it make sense that the secrets is, hey, there are other lands outside of, like, that we're not a globe and so on and so forth. The biggest lie that they told us or the biggest lie that they could be telling us is, hey, there's another planet out there. But guess what? We got this thing called light years, nigga. You can't even get there. In your lifetime, you know, a light year is, I don't know how many years a light year is, but you can't even get there in your lifetime. So you don't worry about it. <laughs> you, yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? What's the best yeah. thing to do when they say, yo, it's, it's, it's planets out there, but bro, it's going to take, you be dead five times before, before yeah. you get there. So what we're going to do is we're going to send robots because they don't die. And they then by don't the time die. they get there, our <laughs> grandfather's grandfathers is going to be able to watch it. Here's an even better one. Easy, see. No, I want you to think about that though. Let that linger before you go to the next thing. Think about I'm not. I'm staying. I'm staying right there. Like I'm staying right there. You said the first. First thing you said is the president is briefed on secrets. Yes, there are secrets even the fucking president doesn't know. That's that they don't fight. That they don't tell him about. That's okay. Because at, at let's be real. They're just these fucking presidents are just fucking puppets and they're fucking dumb. Like we had we had an actor as a president, Reagan, and then we got this fucking TV superstar about to be president again. So I really can't trust these motherfuckers with too much. That's the first thing. Second thing about space, you're talking about space and we can't reach these planets. This how dumb we are. In the fucking 60s, we were able to. <laughs> Leave this fucking atmosphere, 
land a man on the moon and bring him the fuck back. We have not been able to do that since. Somehow the technology from 1960 fucking five has been lost. And we can't, and we don't know that we lost the calculations and the technology to get there. Don't talk to Buzz and them, them niggas to tell you straight up oh, what moon. <laughs> exactly. We 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 lost the technology. Even the video, even the video that they had of them landing on the moon is way better video than they're giving us now. Because this whole outer space shit that you know, because everything is round, these round planets, everything else is round. Why are we not round? Every time you look at that shit, I every video I ever seen in outer space. Everything is so fucking digital. It's not like they took actual fucking vo- photos and tried to piece them together. It doesn't look like a photo. It looks like a bad green screen. It look, looks like a terrible green screen. It looks fucking horrible. You go to see outer space and you look at the earth you're like, damn, I, why can I see the stars on my planet? But they can't put these stars in the fucking background if our plan is spinning. Why? Because we're hurling through Earth. So how would you put that many fucking stars in the background of an AI program and not repeat the same pattern again that somebody might pick up on? Because people are doing that. People are fucking going to patterns on the Earth. I don't know you've seen this video of the round Earth, of round Earth, and like showing like where certain hurricanes are and they mapping out different patterns. Like, yo, that pattern... Is the same pattern. The pattern over South America is the same pattern over fucking uh, Australia. The same fucking cloud pattern. It's like they went copy and paste here and here, here and there. It's like, damn, they have the same exact weather as at the same time. The same exact cloud movement. I mean, it's just it, it was so fucking glitchy and I'm looking at this shit. Every time I go on Google Earth, that shit looks so fucking sketchy. And when you get over Antarctica, it really gets sketchy. I mean, it gets sketchy as fuck. What happened? Go on Google. Go on Google Earth and look at look at Africa and everything like that. You can zoom all the way down, and then you can see that it's laid out, and you can look at it, and it looks cool. It looks like, oh man, I can see everything. I can see, you know, the desert. I can see this uh, this telescope getting a couple pictures of some animals. You go over fucking Antarctica, the outside of the coastline of Antarctica. You can tell it's real. Once you get in the middle of that shit, it's like these block of white photos they put together that you can see like the numbers at the bottom. It looks so it looks so fucking digitally fake compared to the outline of it. I'm do if you think I'm lying, go on Google Earth and and, and, and go to Antarctica and Google Earth. Kev, you can do it right now. I, I you ain't got to say nothing to me about Antarctica, bro. You already know how I feel about Antarctica. Google, Google. Man, let me fucking pop. You'll up never hear nobody <laughs> say, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna take a vacation to Antarctica, and if they do, you only see people on like the outskirts of it. You know what I mean? They also tell you to get the fuck out of here too if you go to really, a really, place. really, really fast, aggressively. I go, yo, that's the alien. The alien come up well, to that, you. That's because supposedly the alien come up to you. Well, <laughs> supposedly it, the, the whole treaty is they don't tell you get out there. They don't want anybody trying to occupy from what they say, they don't want people occupying a military spot that have a military advantage on this place. This is like a neutral zone for out everybody in the world. Like like Antarctica is a fucking or great entry. place if, to set up a fucking it was, station. They, like if, it, it has access. Smart, it has so access. Good. So good. Much of a no, if they were smart. If Antarctica was nothing but ice. All right, I'm I'm, I mean, I'm pulling up Google Earth. Right. Up there, but yeah, I don't think it's anything. But if there's a if there's a if there was ever a neutral place to have a battle, Antarctica would be it. Why destroy your own land? Why destroy somebody else's? Like, yo, you want to fight? Let's take it to Antarctica. Ain't nobody there. You know what I'm saying? We can fight it out. <laughs> you know, it in there now. You there. Watch how you see this shit. Watch how. Fuck. Meet me there at three o'clock. Yeah. 30, 33rd of February. Peter P Square. You take your take your planes, board your ships. We'll line up on this side. You line up on that side. We'll meet in the middle. Yo, send your best dancer. Send your best dancer. <laughs> We're sending. 
<laughs> We're sending Jen <Jim> Tatum. <laughs> Jim, that's that crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, look how they blocked out. Look how they block out an article on Google Earth. After I said I want to get there, they heard you. Yep. Like I don't trust nothing. <laughs> that's like trusting the slot machine. I tell my wife when we go to the, yeah. oh, I'll play the slot machine, nigga. It's all it's computers. Why would I trust a computer? Yeah, that looked like the Earth that's on Destiny <laughs> when you got to travel back they, to Earth. That's what I'm saying. Like they fucking just blocked out. They just blocked. Yo, it was clear as shit for me to go to Antarctica just a few minutes ago. So as I started talking about this shit, is like look at the cloud cover now. Oh, this is the cloud cover that just magically just happened over the recent, just recently over fucking Antarctica. I don't really think it was just clear as fuck just a few seconds ago. Look, man. So where where just looks so where would our people you know. be taking pictures from? Are they taking is it a is it a thing on the moon taking pictures of the earth? Like I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> what Supposedly is a satellite that flies I'm around asking. the fucking satellite. It's Yo, yeah, why the satellite why don't we have a satellite facing outwards? Because they, they won't Who the live feed. I watch live that feed. shit every day, waiting for something to come on. Like you feel what I'm saying? It's just too to, to me. It's like it's too many things that they're telling you. They're telling us, "Hey, this is where you get the information about this. Go get it." Yeah, but they the ones giving it to you. Like you get what I'm saying? Like there's been a thing about NASA for years that NASA has been basically in charge of faking shit. NASA, listen, hold on. Hold on. Now, now let me start getting some facts. Well, let's start getting some facts. Na- NASA's yearly budget. Let's see. All right. So NASA has a budget of 22, no, $25.4 billion. Right. That means that the United States <laughs> is in like a recession. <laughs> it's shit like that. But they play like, yo, NASA. Yo. Yo. You got oh, 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 hold hold on. You hopefully you get too deep. I'm on Google Earth for my phone. I wish I could show you this shit. Antarctica is the only fucking place on the, on this Google map that has watermarks. If anybody know what watermarks is, watermarks is something you put on a fucking picture if you don't want nobody copying it. Antarctica, the whole middle of the island is all watermarks. It's all Google watermarks. So no other place on fucking Google Earth has watermarks on it but Antarctica. Only one part of the map that's actually she stands out that you can actually visibly fucking see. Now, this is supposed to be a satellite picture. Why is a satellite view giving you fucking watermarks over a continent that exists? Because NASA ain't spending that $22.5 billion <laughs> on artists <laughs> or fucking on the right designers. That's why. Uh, <laughs> they every said, time nah, I'm about to show you. They gotta kill them they we can save money there. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We need no artists. But that's... But that's what out the basement. I don't trust anything Google Earth anyway. Like, why the fuck would I trust anything that the big, huge company is telling me about the Earth? Listen, it, if it, I'm feeding it, you the wrong shit, yeah, if I, you threw me off though. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't remember. But you're talking about NASA, <laughs> about NASA, and how they don't really exist in, in this budget, and why no, the no. cameras don't face outward. No, they I exist, just... but they're paid to spread misinformation. They're paid to, like, yeah, I'm going to keep this budget going because that's the one thing we need. They'll cut budgets for schools. They'll cut budgets for everything. But NASA still gets billions and billions of dollars to feed you misinformation so that you don't really search for the truth. The, 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 net, the consciousness of the earth, the, the community consciousness will never search for the truth. If I keep throwing shit out there on, like, TikTok is a blessing and a curse because TikTok is full of misinformation. So much misinformation that if you get good information, you always question it anyway. It's the perfect thing to do. It's the perfect thing to do. Because once again, how do I have, how am I talking to y'all both right now with a microphone, with headphones, with all this shit, but the technology to get back to the moon is lost. It's lost. That's Something doesn't make any sense with that. 
You, you understand what I'm saying? Something doesn't make any sense with that, and nobody can tell you why. You could do everything, but you can't do that. He's, he's an even better thing. They don't never get a real, they never have a real live feed outside of fucking space station. This is always, oh, this is on tape delay. This is satellite beam down. This is uh, the pictures fucking working or or is bouncing back. Like, you're not that far from space in the space station. You're right near the goddamn satellite. You're right next door to the goddamn satellite. The satellite that's bouncing around this live feed around the fucking planet. You're right next door to that motherfucker. Your Wi-Fi is in the room with you, motherfucker. But it don't work that good to send me a live feed back to Earth. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, but look, 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 look here. Here's the joy I was telling you, man, about this is how NASA, because this is the this is the shit they do. That's Antarctica on Google Earth. That's a screenshot. Mm -hmm. That blotted part is the only part that's visibly that you can zoom in on and actually get detailed in. It is detailed. Everything else around that blotted white shit. It's watermarks. And when you zoom into it, it's just magically all fucking snow. Just, just this fucking endless thing of fucking snow. There's no fucking mountaintops. There's no, it's just this big blanket of fucking snow. I'm like, what you think is there? Huh? What you think is there? Oh, I, nigga, I really think after doing all this shit, that little place that's blotted out right there, that's probably the entrance to the fucking ice wall. And that's all they're going to give you. They can't show you what Antarctica really is. Because if you see Antarctica be on any other fucking map, there's this old map right here, this old source map. Oh, Antarctica circles the whole fucking everything inside of it. It circles it. Antarctica on any map that's back in the day is always like circles the whole fucking it stretches out across the whole bottom and the whole top of the map. Doesn't that, that make sense? It makes more sense. It's like, yo, stay away from Antarctica. Like, don't fly over it, you know. You got to get permission from all the world government to fucking go into Antarctica to investigate. You got to get permission. You're allowed to do it. You're allowed to fly over it. But you got to get permission from everybody to go in there and do studies. And you can only go so far. The most important part is... They they said you can't fly directly over the poles, but somebody said that's been misproven. Yeah. That's been disproven. But they said you like for a long the longest time you can't fly over the poles. So wow. what that what that tells me is that see that to me makes more sense. I'm going with the lands beyond the wall shit with the flat earth theory. Okay. Um so if you if you're going with you could pull that one map up again if you can. So, right here, this is flat Earth, or is it flat Earth in many lands? This is flat. This is a, a map of supposedly a flat Earth. This is the same thing. The Guardians on all sides, but as you can see, like we're we're landlocked in the middle of this shit. This is an old. This is an old source map. We're fucking landlocked around everything else. Like we're in the middle, and every and this something, some island has got us fucking landlocked in the here. Listen. Here go a funny thing, sense. people. It makes sense. It makes sense. You know, it's a it's a cartoon out that I watch. It's an anime I watch called One Piece, and it's basically same same fucking theory. Like it's a fucking is a, a, a it's called the red line, and there's another that goes all the way around the planet, and there's another line, but you got to go through the red. You you is a group of islands that you sit in the north blue, the east blue, south blue. Each thing sits in its own little part of the ocean. But you got to cross over this fucking this red line to get to these different parts of these oceans. I'm think thinking that's what Antarctica is. It's like it's like we're landlocked, but to, to explore everything gates, out. That's what I was saying. You got to go through one of these gates. You got. But the thing is, if the Bible is right, would it like like these guarding these gates is probably saying like, look, man, I can let you in here. But you can't be hostile. You know what I'm saying? You can't be hostile to the other one. I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. I just. I don't think it's about that. We all gonna start a war together. I, I don't think that. I think that we, as human beings, were made to just like this is the land we were designated to. 
and that we are locked into. That's what I think. And I think that if we're going with the theory, because I don't want to say that, oh, yeah, I'll be staying up thinking about it. But I think that this is just the land that we're designated to. You're not supposed to, whoever's in charge says that you're not supposed to be out there. That's that's what I think. Hey, this is for this species or what do we call ourselves? Whatever. This Almost is for this. This, this is for this, this is for that, this is for them, that is for this, that is for this. These motherfuckers can come over here, but you can't come out of here. Y'all can't come out of here. Not for war, because you wouldn't be able to survive a war anyway. What if um, what if over here is oxygen and over here, nobody asks themselves that. If the aliens do come in this come in this uh if the aliens do come into this area or whatever, and they don't have spacesuits and all that shit, what the fuck are they breathing? Do they breathe? Like, you got to understand that. Maybe we're not meant to survive outside of that walk. You get what I'm saying? It could be any of that. I sent y'all a video. Um, I sent y'all a video, like, when we first started talking about it. And it was actually pretty interesting. And I'm actually going to find it. Um, should, and it's about people. It's about somebody sailing years ago to the point where they got outside of the wall. What happened? Let me find it. Keep talking while I find it. That's the thing, man. That, that's what's, that's the scary part of this shit, man, because what is outside these fucking walls? Is it gods that people who consider them gods? It's of gods that live outside these fucking walls and these gates. It's like, hey, man, this is heaven right here. Uh, this is um, Valhalla over here. I don't know wherever the Buddhist people, you know, as you as a Buddhist, where you go, they exist over here. Because we all of us got all these different religions. They came from somewhere. They always used to say, you know, these people, these gods came to us on boats and, and planes and all aircrafts and all this shit. Maybe, maybe heaven does exist over here through one of these gates. But heaven doesn't bang with fucking... Bang with Valhalla. You get what I'm saying? Or bang with the Greek gods over this planet. Like, hey, we gave you this. You're a god. You have dominion over this. I have dominion over this. Whatever. We take from the middle. We take what we need from the middle. Maybe when they do a rapture, you ever hear the rapture? Maybe the rapture is, hey, man, you getting pulled to fucking heaven. They're going to get pulled to some more. You got drafted. <laughs> Yes, heaven exists. Hey yo, getting drafted. <laughs> but, you, yeah, but the rapture just the rapture just recruited you. <laughs> the heavenly the, draft. Yeah, because we're, we we're, we're about to go. We're about to go fight. We're about to go fight Valhalla. Because think about how rich. Why, yo, about, why is everybody fighting? They get, <laughs> but think. I'm gonna tell you why, Drake. Think, think about how, of all think, places. Think, think about how we're about to about go how, fight Valhalla. <laughs> but think about how religions, how religions always, always came into play on on this Middle Earth. Is always the Christians wanted to abolish uh, paganism. Like you're gone. Your your religion doesn't exist no more. Muslims is fighting Christians or Christians against Muslims. How you know that these wars ain't existing outside of there? And somehow their war is fucking leaking into our place in the middle. And whoever and whoever wins the war over this religious battle on the outside world controls the resources, the resources and everything in the middle. Like this is this is your little play thing to experiment with. Because we did the whole thing on the simulation theory about somebody simulating this something above us. Maybe this flat earth is like, hey, yo. Whatever outside kingdom you can you control the middle kingdom. You ever heard they, you ever heard the thing that they always do on these fucking uh, sci fi movies? Middle Earth. This is considered Middle Earth. You're in the middle. You are the lower or you're the lower kingdom. Like is greater kingdoms that exist outside of I've yours. I've heard of the Middle Earth. Well, maybe we're fucking Middle Earth. Maybe we're the lower. Right. We're the lower. The we're the lower the two. It's like, hey man, most of the gold is here. Most of the resources is here. All right. Well, we would be the middle because we are three dimensional, basically. Yeah. We don't know how many other dimensions there would be, though. You know, that's so, what you're talking. So that's that. Who knows what's beyond these these walls? I like to consider them walls. Uh, where Antarctica and, and the so, firmament pretty well, much let me pull some wraps up. around this spherical or flat plane Drake's wherever we are. Up. And it goes with what he was saying. This, the like, they got some of the round part right. You know what I'm saying? Here, let me share this. I'm going to share my screen. 
And uh, this isn't the exact one that I sent you, but let's just enjoy this weird thing. First here. ever ice wall explorer in the late 1700s, Mr. William Morris. Now this entire story Look at that map. written accounts mm -hmm. have been hidden for hundreds of years up until recently when the author Nos Confundin wrote about his story after coming across these documents that basically just told what he had found beyond the ice wall and what he had to go through to come back and tell the story to the whole world without triggering another great reset. Red line. Now, this story begins when William Morris's crew sailed all the way to Antarctica looking for the rumored Summer's Gate, which is supposedly an opening in the ice wall that only appears when it gets hot enough for the ice to melt and a boat to go through. Once they got over there, they actually did find a crack in the ice wall, big enough for a boat to sail through, but they were too scared to go in. But it didn't even matter at that point because they were already too oh, close. God. And it sucked them. That's the digital. Once yeah, I know. I'm just, I want him to side, hurry they up. They came across a vast new ocean as well as a red boat. That's all they describe it as, just that it was red and that they had never seen anything like it before. The boat then blew a siren that was so loud and was hurting everyone on the crew. But I guess once they found out that William Morris and his crew were not a threat, that they let them onto their boat and they spoke to them and basically told them that William Morris and his crew escaped enslavement from the actual bad people in the world. And that these lands that were outside of the ice wall are actually the peaceful place and that where we live is the place that there are evil leaders running everything. The captain in the red boat said that he was from the ancestral Republic and that they've been trying to liberate the people from the middle earth area in the inner Just ice wall. Listen for a little while longer. For hundreds of years, but they have not been able to because they keep causing great resets where all <clears> the <throat> entire population is basically wiped out and the rest of the people are made in baby making factories and they're grown in a lab and stuff like the cabbage patch kids stuff so after william morris found out that he basically made it out of enslavement by living beyond the ice wall he stayed there for 10 okay. years but he okay all right so that's well, little, that what was you saying so my theory is, is is kind of right what I was saying about these other places at war and we just to fucking think about something the Anu Anu I can't find, I say a fucking Anunnaki okay them that they, that they, they, they were supposed to okay, genetically then. engineer us to fucking mine gold or whatever like that our infatuation with gold just just say this theory that he's talking about this great reset maybe we are just here because we always hear the same thing is the same fucking people in charge the eye is always watching this eye that just got this watch over us everybody knows about us we can't we can't go to antarctica our government is ruled by somebody and if there's other lands outside that wall maybe they do got control of this shit and they're like look man this is a good place i control the governments any fucking resources i need or military development i'll just go get from them you be my war making factory you can supply me bodies because planes disappear all the time. Uh, ships disappear all the time. You can supply me body. You can supply me resources. And as long as I got control of you, I can, can control whatever else on this ice outside of this fucking ice wall. Y'all can't liberate them because y'all not all joining together up on me. Or, that's how I look at it. That's why I say we're at, we're probably at war. That's probably why we can't venture out. We we are living in the cell. You you may be you may be you may be right, but that that to me gives the government more of a reason to also lie to you about space. <laughs>